With Google Cloud Platform, there is a new service called Network Service Tiers. This is still in alpha mode, but the goal of this is to help you optimize your network for performance or for cost. This is an interesting approach. Google has two different tiers that you could look at considering. The first is premium, and then the second is standard. So what is the real difference? Well, just looking at the picture, you could see that, let's say we have traffic coming in. It's going to go over the Google network. This is going to be the same network that is going to host, essentially, other services from Google, like Gmail. So this is going to be much more efficient, whereas if you go to standard tier, you're going to have the end user be served through typically a bunch of hops going through uh, additional networking, you know, in the public cloud. With the premium tier, for example, the inbound traffic will go um, from, uh, you know, let's say from the end user here to your application in the Google Cloud. And what I'll do is it's going to find, after it gets through their service provider, it's going to find the closest POP, which is the point of presence. This is typically a service provider ingress, which is going to allow them to deliver this traffic directly to Google, essentially. And there's over 100 uh, POPs available in the world right now. So there is a good chance that there may be, you know, might be one close to you. I don't know. I'll show you where the list is, though. As far as uh, Google Network is concerned, this is, again, with, let's say, with outbound traffic, the same thing. You could have it go straight through the Google Network, or you could have it go through, basically, standard routing. Now, the question is, is why do you want to do premium over standard? Typically, it's going to be either performance or it could be cost. That's a decision that you'll need to, to make, of course. So the Google network, if you're using that, this is going to be highly redundant, highly available. It has, uh, it was designed essentially with three independent paths as well. It'll pretty much guarantee your traffic will take the most efficient route and mitigate any chances of disruption. That's with premium tier. So if there is a fiber loss, you know, there's two other routes that it could go over. With, for example, if you're using global load balancing, you could also tie in, for example, and this is part of premium tier, the ability as well to distribute that traffic with uh, load balancing, which again could be a, a good feature. So with premium tier, just be aware that you're using the same network that Google Search is using, Gmail, YouTube, etc. This could be a big performance boost. But of course, there's a cost to this. And with standard tier, this is your standard cloud service, essentially. Let's go ahead and take a quick look here. To help you make a decision, they, of course, have some of the highlights here between premium and standard. Take a look at that, different use cases. This goes into premium tier pretty well and standard tier, I think. Again, you may have, uh, you know, traffic. This is a good decision tree to help you determine should this traffic go over premium or should it not. As far as availability, not all services are there yet. That's why it's still, um, it's still in uh, alpha mode. It's still, you know, again, this could change, but... Just be aware that Google is trying to uh, make this work as quickly as possible. As far as documentation, um, one note here too. It says that this is still an alpha. It is not recommended for production yet. This is still a new service that's available. Don't expect an SLA. They've got how-to guides and concepts as well. And it goes through again. Um, the different use cases and goes through uh, standard and premium tier, so on and so on. And then if you scroll down, you could see that they've got 
really good decision trees as well here, I think. Uh, you know, goes through um, how you could set this up, for example. And, and again, take some time to figure out um, some of the differences. This is actually a good recap here, I think. This sort of explains the difference between standard and premium. Pretty detailed at first. If you do want to get started, you'll need to, of course, uh, contact uh, your sales or support team. And uh, you could go ahead and select there. This is going to you know, tell you what is qualified, what isn't. Now, another thing to note, too, there is going to be some, um, some service provider requirements as well you're going to have to look at. With that said, it's not in GA either, but I wanted to just cover this because this is actually... I think a very unique feature of Google Cloud. And from a network perspective, this gives you a lot of power to control how your services are delivered and how the end user actually utilizes and views your service at the same time. With that said, let's continue on.